energy of coupled oscillations energy of coupled oscillations the total energy of the system of coupled pendulums is made up of two parts first potential energy and second part as kinetic energy the potential energy is due to two reasons number 1 extension of the spring in the coupling and second raising of pendulum bobs against gravity hence potential energy is due to extension of the spring is equal to integration is equal to k by 2 x2 minus x1 bracket square it is equal to integration from 0 to x1 as the limits for first pendulum in the coupling first pendulum and plus 0 to x2 mjx upon l dx for second pendulum in the coupling and that is equal to mg upon twice l x1 square plus x2 square hence the potential energy of the system is given by the equation v equal to k by 2 x2 minus x1 bracket square plus mg upon twice l x1 square plus x2 square and the second one kinetic energy of the system is given by as regular formula 1 half mv square t is equal to 1 half m x1 dot square plus 1 half m x2 dot square in all t is equal to 1 half m bracket x1 dot square plus x2 dot square here we are explaining total energy of the coupled oscillatory system consists of kinetic energy and potential energy kinetic energy t equal to m by 2 x1 dot square plus x2 dot square and potential energy v is equal to k by 2 x2 minus x1 bracket square plus mg upon twice l bracket x1 square plus x2 square hence the total energy of the two pendulums as e equal in classical mechanics it is generally denoted by e is the addition of kinetic energy t plus potential energy v it is given by equation m by 2 bracket x1 dot square plus x2 dot square plus g by l x1 square plus x2 square plus k by 2 x2 minus x1 bracket square it is the resultant equation for total energy of the system of two coupled pendulums potential and kinetic energies can be expressed in terms of normal coordinates we have to see here normal coordinates x1 as we know first normal coordinate is the addition of these two second normal coordinate is the addition of respective displacements of two bobs in the coupling hence potential energy v in terms of normal coordinates will be here mg by 4l x1 square plus mg by 4l plus k by 2 into x2 square and kinetic energy in terms of normal coordinates as t equal to m by 4 x1 dot square plus x2 dot square these are the two expressions for ke and pe in terms of normal coordinates hence total energy e of the system total energy e of the system equal to addition of t plus v in terms of normal coordinates is given by the final equation as e equal to t plus v is equal to m upon 4 bracket x1 dot square plus x2 dot square plus mg by 4l x2 square plus x1 square plus k by 2 x2 square it is the equation for total energy of the coupled system in terms of normal coordinates x1 and x2 once we know the energy of the coupled oscillatory system we should know how the energy is transferred in coupled oscillatory system this i will explain in this next article let us explain the mechanism of transfer of energy from one pendulum to the other in the coupling itself suppose that the first pendulum bob is initially at rest and the distance a from the equilibrium position and the second pendulum bob is at rest in its equilibrium position at that time what will be the conditions 
when x1 equal to maximum x1 dot 0 when x2 0 x1 2 dot also equal to 0 means when first pendulum is at maximum any one of the extremity second one is at rest or is at its equilibrium position and accordingly x1 dot x2 dot both are 0. Therefore, small a equal to a plus c according to previous equations 0 equal to minus omega b omega 1 plus d omega 2 whereas 0 equal to minus a plus c or 0 equal to minus b omega 1 plus d omega 2. These equations give a equal to c equal to a by 2 and b minus d equal to 0. Hence, the general solutions become x1 equal to a by 2 cos omega 1 t plus cos omega 2 t and x2 equal to a by 2 cos omega 1 t minus cos omega 2 t. Using the trigonometric identities, these equations can be written as these equations means it is this and this for x1 and x2 can be written as this. How it is written as? x1 equal to a cos omega 1 plus 2 by 2 into t into cos of omega 1 minus omega 2 upon t into t. Whereas for x2, a sin omega 1 plus omega 2 by 2 plus uh, into t sin of omega 1 minus omega 2 upon 2 into t. These are the two expressions according to trigonometric formulae. If the coupling is weak, then omega 1 and omega 2 will not be much different from each other. For that, we, let us we substitute omega 1 plus omega 2 by 2, this ratio is simply equal to omega dash. Hence, equi above equations become x1 equal to a cos of omega 1 minus omega 2 upon t into t cos omega dash t and for x2, a sin of omega 1 minus omega 2 upon 2 into t sin omega dash t. Hence, these two equations show, these two equations show that x1 and x2 are oscillating with angular frequency omega dash and their amplitudes of x1 and x2 are slowly varying. The variation is according to a sine factor for x2 and the variation is according to cosine factor for the displacement x1. It is well known that as the angle increases, the sine factor increases whereas cosine factor decreases. It shows that amplitudes and hence the energies change in such a way that the energy of the first pendulum decreases while that of the other pendulum increases as the angle omega 1 minus omega 2 into t increases it will the change reverse is the effect as the angle decreases hence the energy alters between two pendulums therefore the energy transfer is periodic and it is expressed by the equation t equal to 2 pi upon angular frequency equal to 2 pi upon omega 1 minus omega 2 upon 2 equal to 4 pi upon omega 1 minus omega 2 whereas omega 2 equal to square root of j upon l whereas omega 1 equal to square root of g by l plus 2k by m. Thank you.